Hey everybody, today I'm here to talk to you about the MAC Divine Nights Eyeshadows. These are mineral eyeshadows and they are part of the limited edition holiday 2013 collection. They are a little pricey, I believe they're about 22 I think, because the mineral products tend to be a little bit pricier, which compared to a normal $15 eyeshadow is pretty pricey. But are they worth it? Well, I'm going to show you. I only got two of them, I know there's like five of them, but five of them is like $100 and there's just so many options in this collection that I felt like I'm just going to go with my favorites this time. So I picked up Past Midnight, which is a beautiful, beautiful, and if it wasn't so bright you'd be able to see, which is a beautiful deep dark violet with almost a baby pink center. Now these of course apply best wet or if you put Fix Plus on your brush or any other um, product that would help eyeshadow to adhere to your eye. They also apply really great over primer. Dry, they're a little bit stiff, they're a little bit under pigmented, so make sure your brush is a little bit damp when you apply these. And I'm going to try to do a swatch of that for you. Let me get this up so I could do this. I would say use a dense brush too as well. Don't use anything like super, super fluffy. So let's get this swatched up for you. Let's do a dry swatch first. I'll do a dry swatch up here. So there you go. That's two swipes of the baby pink, which I feel like would be great for highlighting. And then... Here's your violet. So you do have to build them up when they're dry. But when they Let's are wet. This up. Do, do, do. So here we go. Here's your wet swatch. As you could see, much more metallic, but still still pretty shimmery. Let's get the wet shot of that purple. So here's the purple wet swipe. So it's still a little sheer. Let me see if I can build that up. There we go. So it's more like you're painting it on when it's wet, but they still give the pretty much the same pigmentation, but it's easier to layer it up when it's wet. There we go. So you can see, it's still really pretty. It's more for the kind of person that wants that frosty shimmer look on their lids rather than that high pigmented matte shadow. That's just to compare. So if this wasn't what you expected, I just wanted to give you the heads up that that's how they're supposed to apply. But you can get them even more metallic, like I said, if you use something like Fix Plus or you apply them over a primer. Um, and then the second one I got was Gilded in Gold, uh, Gilded Night. I'm thinking of Maybelline, sorry. Gilded Night, and you get a beautiful yellow based gold in a shimmery black center. Now this performed really well, and for some reason when I swatched the gold over the black, I got this weird greenish color, but I can't complain. So my brush is a little damp, so I'm just going to give you a wet swatch here, and I'll have the dry swatches be a picture form. So. There's the gold. It's absolutely stunning. I'm sorry my hand is um, stained. I love this gold. I love how bright and shimmery it is. Really beautiful. And then the black, um, it didn't perform terribly, but it wasn't my favorite. But it was pretty good for what it was. Now these blend effortlessly together. You can do a smoky eye if you use the black as your mean lid color or if you use the gold you can do a nice brightening look same with the purple so I like that they give you two shades that give you two different kinds of looks that you can create which is always great now the other shades in the collection they range a little bit different in tone like they have ones that are really similar and they're paired together I don't understand the point of that these two really stuck out to me and if you like purples and you like violets and you like that frosty look and you love the mineralized formula please check them out they're on the Mac website they haven't sold out yet so you might as well pick them up before they sell out even one just to try it out I always say so um, I have my swatches already on my Instagram but I'm gonna include them here as well um, I'm gonna try to do as many eye looks as I can and I'll post that on my Instagram as well so please follow me I'm Recycled Stardust and thank you so much for watching